I would like to welcome you all very warmly. I think coming together at the station symbolises for us a place of connection where people come and go and where ideas can be exchanged. And of course, after the hardships and isolation um, of the pandemic, it is particularly good to be able to meet in person um, and to celebrate creativity and diversity in all its glory. So this ambitious festival entitled City of Light and aren't the brochures absolutely magnificent, covers a wide range of concepts and gives us opportunities to explore and understand the intersection of art and science and technology by engaging new audiences and looking through new lenses at the challenges and opportunities that there are for different communities in Milton Keynes. And I think the arts have a powerful ability to overcome society's divisions. They speak a universal language and we know that there are communication barriers which differing cultures face. But by participating in an event such as this, we are helped to recognize and to respect ways of being that are different from our own. And as we interact with each other, we can build important bridges, leading to trust and respect and understanding across cultures. So in joining MKIAC this evening and celebrating this extraordinary festival of light, which has been going on for the last three days, and I know culminates tomorrow in a magnificent grand parade, we are actually showing a willingness and an ability to explore each other's cultures and accepting that each and every individual has, uh, is unique and valuable. So we can understand our cultural differences in a safe, positive and nurturing environment. The Secretary General of the UN encapsulated what culture and creativity can give to our societies when he said in May this year, culture is a flower. It's the flower of the human being, the fruit of our minds, the product of our traditions, the expression of our yearnings. Its diversity is wondrous and part of the rich tapestry of civilization. So global events, and in particular COVID-19, has upended the world and shaken us all. But as the vaccine rollout has generated hope for a more normal life, we can come together with opportunities like tonight to support each other through participation and appreciation of the arts. I know that cultural diversity here in Milton Keynes inspires creativity and drives innovation. It helps people to gain new experiences so that interactions between us all become stronger. And what matters in the arts is not the objects, events or activities in isolation, but the web of relationships between the people that make culture happen. So creative solutions can fuel change, be it an art installation to change public opinion, or new technologies helping us to tackle, for example, climate change. So using the background of Islamic art, MKIAC has developed a range of inclusive, and inspiring workshops and seminars and projects to help us overcome societal divisions and create a sense of community. We were like asked to come here to perform our sense of unity which is a very special program 
uh, 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 collaboration between the world beaters, Spark, five LED drummers, five players who animate a five meter puppet, which is also animated, and a West African harp instrument named Cora, who is like doing the surrounding sound. And we like, we started, we were always, we were starting one place and walking through the city and during the walk, not only the drummers will get more and more involved in uh, musical collaboration with the chora, also they will meet the puppet and the puppet will meet the drummers. And first of all, there is a small one meter puppet, illuminated, steered, uh, animated by the five players, and which will like be with the drummers. And then later we, we see the, 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 the small one which wake up his big brother, or is it like uh, the big mother or the big father? And then the big giant, five meter giant puppet uh, will, uh, will also walk in the same way like the world beaters uh, through the cities. can really get in contact with the audience. Even we are five meter high, the puppet will bend down. The, uh, the, also the positive and like lightful way which, which is around this puppet and the sound of the, of the instrument gives children and, and all, everybody an open heart to the situation. So the puppet can really open up the people's mind and idea and will also inspire the people to get their own idea what is going on. So everybody here was watching his own film. Uh, we were approached by Anwar from Milton Keynes Islamic Art and Culture to uh, basically put together uh, the animation that was shown here. And really the theme is on biodiversity and geometry and numbers and obviously light. So taking away all of those themes. Uh, the reason why we chose those topics is obviously Milton Keynes being um, the home of Bletchley Park. So you've got the code and numbers there. Also in this actual uh, space where we are today uh, in the square uh, in front of the central station. And they're actually developing this area and they're going to have beehives and, and you know, trees so it's the bio, you know, that's where the biodiversity comes in then obviously light as well being animation and you no know, light so and we just took those ideas and basically stitched it into an animation and a storyboard and then uh, we also made it so it loops so where it starts is where it ends so it's a bit like the cycle of life What you're seeing behind me is uh, eight incredibly powerful lasers mounted onto Milton Keynes Central Station. Every single one of those lasers is being controlled by a member of the public at the moment through their phones. So I just love to bring these sort of large scale spectacles to the, an audience who actually gets to actively engage with it. You know, it's like, it's one thing to like make a fancy laser show, but it's another thing entirely to just hand over all the controls to the public, right? So we spent months and months last year, obviously this is a project that's come out of the pandemic. Uh, and we've, we've had a huge development cycle to build this very complex system that can handle thousands and thousands of people all waiting to have a go on the lasers. Events like this are really important because um, basically it educates people about culture and um, traditional art, which is really important. You know, the idea of you know, learning a craft or you know, uh, striving to, to make something beautiful. It means so much for our mental health, right? And for, to give us a sense of community and a sense of togetherness. And obviously, you know, in the last couple of years, we've realized just exactly how important those things are.